I just had surgery a week ago and I don't even get a chair. I work as a host at a restaurant. I just had laparoscopic surgery a week ago. And my manager denied my request for a chair at the host table. She said it was because we don't want customers thinking our employees are lazy. I almost quit and walked out. Instead I got someone to cover my shift. The worst part is that. Before I got this job. It was standard for the host to have a chair. Apparently two of the hosts abused it so now I don't get a chair when I need one. My shifts last six hours and I'm usually not allowed to sit down at all. I'm in pain and I'm tired and I'm thinking about quitting my job over it. It's been two days. I was sent home early last night because I couldn't stand up straight halfway through my shift. This shit is affecting my paycheck. The rest of the employees are just as pissed as I am about it. And they're all fully supportive of me. I just don't know what to do at this point. Edit my surgeon did give me a doctor's note. However, that doctor's note was for two days off. Because most of the people he works on have office jobs. He knows I have to stand up for six hours straight for my shifts and all he did was give me a few extra doses of my pain meds. Basically, doctor's note isn't gonna happen. I already tried. Another important piece of info is that I'm 17 and my sister also works at the same restaurant as me. I definitely can't afford a lawyer and my dad is against taking any legal action. As it could result in my sister getting fired. I'm also trying to move out of my dad's house because he's not the nicest person and my mental health is suffering because of it. I need the money to pay for college and to move out ASAP. Basically, I'm fucked. That's a reasonable accommodation under the ADA. I can count on one hand how many times I've eaten at a restaurant where the hostess is seated as I check in and you know what? It had no effect on my dining experience whatsoever. Like I never even gave it a second thought. Why do restaurants do this? Why the fuck can't hostess cashiers sit while they work? How does one abuse having a chair? Capitalists are fucking stupid. Doctor's note. They can't argue with that. Sorry your boss sucks. Email the doctor's office and tell them you're in pain at work and would like to sit down. Then tell your manager. Not ask. To use the chair. Best case scenario is they tell you no and retaliate. Then message the labor board in your state and enjoy the penalties. I really don't understand why so many places of work are so shitty to their workers. Tail a seat. Walk in with a sign for the table that says. Broke my back. Had surgery. Now. My boss is forcing me to stand for entire shift. See just how quickly guests start taking the business apart online and in person. Get a doctor's note, if they deny a medical necessity they can be sued. You're 17? You should have quit as soon as they denied you the chair. You should quit now. They don't care about you and that won't change. Don't kill yourself for the company. As a customer, you being comfortable doesn't bother me at all. Nor does it affect my experience at the restaurant in any way whatsoever. I'm there for the food. Not the people standing up. Food retail restaurant shit boss shit job. You should have quit on the spot. Get a note from your doctor and ask for an accommodation. Start looking for another job. Quit without notice. I would find another doctor. That's horrible that he would not give you a doctor's note when you need it. The doctor is acting like giving one affects them. We don't want customers thinking our employees are lazy. They would prefer that we think their business is absurdly scummy. But it's okay for them because since literally everyone does it, we have no choice. There are canes that fold out into a small seat. They are cheap like $15. Get one of those and sit as needed and walk as needed. They won't dare take away your cane. If they try to send you home or punish you for it go to the media.
I have never once in my entire life been even close to being offended by an employee sitting while doing their job. Your doctor sucks. Insist on a note from the doctor. No reason they can't accommodate. If they refuse ask for the refusal in writing. That will probably change their attitude. You are young. This is the body you are going to have for the rest of your life. Don't let this job cause you to have a physical disability or chronic pain for the rest of your life. Give them a doctor's note. Isn't gonna happen. Try again. Tell them what you want. Go to urgent care or your PCP and get a note. You're saying it isn't gonna happen. But you're the obstacle there. A doctor will give you a note. It wouldn't be hard to review bomb the place saying how appalled we were to see how a shitty manager was treating their staff and how they should be ashamed of how they are treating their staff. I'm so fucking tired of mangers that equate sitting to being lazy. Why the fuck do you need to stand all shift? As long as you stand to greet the guest walk them to the table. Whatever else your restaurant has hostesses do. Silverware. Menus. This is bullshit. I am sorry. It's just like cashiers. Why can't they have stools? I did notice after the last remodel Aldi put stools at their cash registers. There are jobs you need to stand but a lot of times they seem to have you standing for no good. Reason. That is absolutely disgusting. I'm a department manager and I will go out of my way to make sure the people working under me are. Accommodated like a I had one cashier with neuropathy in his foot and I happily gave him a chair. To sit in. Customers be damned. Definitely get that shit in writing and take it to a lawyer. If standing causes your pain to be worse. Or causes you to seek additional medical treatment. That would be something the employer would pay for. A chair would be cheaper. This sounds like discrimination. Get a doctor's note and then they can't refuse. If you already have a doctor's note, find a lawyer. I would be willing to bet a lawyer would take this pro bono. Or at least on contingency. I can't imagine a universe where I would walk into a restaurant and even take note of the host. Sitting down. Let alone draw the conclusion that the host was lazy and let that reflect on the restaurant. Managers pull this nonsense because they're on a power trip and that's it. I once worked at a pool who would let us sit in the lifeguard chair only as a special treat. We could only sit down 10 minutes per rotation and there was no reason to do this other than control. If you tried to call out or were unable to work they'd say well what if we let you sit down as if. It was a privilege. I'd definitely be approaching legal counsel. And put the chair there anyways. Your dad's wrong. They can't fire your sister if you take legal action and if they do your sister can sue them too. Doctor's note. Reminds me of when I worked in a factory. 12 hour shift standing on concrete. It sucked. Couldn't imagine after a surgery. Boss is power tripping. Get a different job. Start looking for another job. I wouldn't even make my employees ask for a chair. Do you have a doctor's note? Get one if you don't. Make sure the doctor understands how long you will be required to stand. Give a copy to your manager. If that doesn't work give it to the owner or district manager. We don't want customers to think our employees are lazy. So you'd rather they think management are assholes? Why do managers owners think you're only productive as long as you're uncomfortable? Does your company provide short-term disability? I'd go out on immediately if you can. Your request for a chair was a reasonable accommodation. Basically, doctor's note isn't gonna happen. I already tried. This doctor's DGAF. They aren't out anything by writing an accommodation note. This seems altogether fishy.